up guys, pizza holics. It's cold. No better time to eat some pizza on a cold, cold winter day here in New York City. I'm at Grimaldi's. Do I really need to introduce you to that place? That old bank? There's the original location to Grimaldi's. Julianne is right there. Let's go eat. What's up, ladies and gents? Pizza holics out there. I'm over here once again with my co-host, Victor, a.k.a. The Cali Kid. You saw Juliana's, which was the original Grimaldi's. Grimaldi's since moved next door, took his ingredients, but did not take the Grimaldi oven, which is uh, the original ovens in Juliana's. But they built a replica at Grimaldi's, which is now in that old bank, that beautiful bank. Not the original oven, original recipe. Let's go taste it, guys. The guest does the honors. Wow. Different than Juliana's. Yeah. Thinner. Thinner, not as thick. Super aromatic. And the, 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 the aroma, the aroma wow. coming out of this pie, the spices, the garlic, you smell it through the box. All right, so like always, the guest will taste the first slice and then I'll taste it after him and get his opinion. A little bit of crackling on the fold, a little bit of flop, the two-handed technique. Nice char, man. Now, keep this in mind, guys. Victor had Grimaldi's before, but not this original location. He tasted Grimaldi's in Las Vegas when he went on vacation uh, several months ago. He tasted the Grimaldi's there. For those of you who don't know, Grimaldi's is has since franchised. This It all started here. Yeah. They're all over the place. Colorado, Michigan, Nevada, Texas, Virginia, you name it. You remember how, how it, do you remember the way yeah. it tasted in Vegas? I remember you said you liked it. You gave it like an eight, right? Mm -hmm. One just um, has a lot more basil. So like, it just hits you right in the face. You're just like, holy shit. Like this thing, I'm, a lot of that aroma just comes through and you can just smell it. You can taste it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's similar though. Definitely similar than the one I got in Vegas. The only difference I would say besides the basil, I feel like this one is just a little bit more tasty. I feel like they probably, the ingredients are fresher. There's more love put into this one because it's right, right. obviously more the original. More love, yeah. Possible, it's possible. Here we go. Does it crackle on the fold? A little bit. Nice. No flop, no flop. It's holding its shape. Flop Look at that bottom. Me. Oh yeah, this one didn't flop. It depends on what slice you get, you know. Sometimes yeah, some slices are small. Bottom heavy, you know. For the most Top part, heavy. this pizza's nice and tight, man. It's not. It's holding its shape. Look at that char. Oh man, let's go. Mmm. Basil is no joke, right? Yeah, I can deal with it when it's cooked like this on it. When it's just thrown on the pie, like, afterward. Look at that hard cheese. A lot of hard cheese. Chewy, though. Chewy first bite. I'm not a fan when they throw it on afterward. I'm going to say it already. It's better than Juliana's. Wow. That's all I'm going to say right now. Mmm. Smoky. Look at that view, guys airy look how airy that is all right ladies and gentlemen let's move on in for a closer look boy oh boy we are in for a winner here guys that's all i'm going to start out by saying i want to start with the cross it's a coal fired pie nice leoparding cheese sauce spread to the very very edge and in some cases it spills over you know how much i love that Got to talk about that basil, guys. Let me tell you, very aromatic. Extremely pungent. My one gripe is that it looks as if they cooked the pizza with the basil on it. They put the basil on it before putting it in the oven. If that's the case, there are some pluses to that because the basil kind of gets infused right. and the flavor spreads into the sauce and cheese. Uh, so I don't really mind that. But when it comes to presentation, 
Uh, you typically want it, you want the basil raw on the pizza. Yeah, I'll take taste over presentation. Good point, good <laughs> point, good point. Look at all that hard cheese, and it kind of got encrusted. There's some hard cheese on that piece of basil oregano. Look at those spices. Look at those spices. Oh, baby, we got ourselves a winner here, folks. Very balanced. Look at that. Got some sauce evenly spread out, distributed throughout. No real estate between sauce and cheese. You know, you're going to get some good even distribution. There are some cases where you might take a bite into the pizza and you're going to get just cheese like right there. So, Vic, uh, this is basically an authentic New York pizza. Not quintessential, but authentic. Yeah, so when you have New York pizza, this is the type of New York pizza you want to get. And I'll tell you right now, folks, it is definitely better than what I've had in Italy. And I've had... I've been to a good, wow. I've been to like the best of the best in Florence. It wasn't Naples, but they did it the same way that they do it in Florence. And this is definitely hands down way better. Talk about opening up a can of worms. <laughs> this guy doesn't realize he's on YouTube. He, that's it. He opened up the can of worms. Here come no, the fishermen. I mean, look, I've, <laughs> I'm, I'm obviously I'm no food connoisseur. It's different pizza. Depends what you're. Yeah, doing yeah, food. it's what you like. And yeah. A lot of people agree with you. You think you're the first one to say that? This sauce right here, it's raw. It cooks in the oven for as long as the pie cooks, which is just minutes, and it's naturally sweet. Mounds of tomato sauce. Mounds. Look at that cheese, guys. Peaches has cooled down and you know sometimes you get that low quality mozzarella that stiffens up into like slabs of hard plastic not the case there it's safe to say guys that the cheese to sauce ratio is on point here but this is tight man this is tight <laughs> when you separate the pizza when you separate it nothing trails you see that you don't get cheese trailing that's the call that's the mark of good cheese that's the quality that's the mark of a good quality cheese because when you get cheese that trails and trails a bite that Pulling means it's on. greasy that's ninja turtles pizza when ninja Mike, turtles like pizza michelangelo takes a pizza right. and, it's just and there's just it's just stretching <laughs> for miles so it's about that time guys pizza gets cold we give it another fold and what you do here when i do this i test for not just flop but how does the texture look it stopped crackling you see that it's not crackling as much Still holds its shape. Still holds its shape. But uh, sometimes pizza loses its crisp. It may start out crispy when it's hot. And then you take a bite when it cools down and it completely loses its crisp. That's often the case with brick oven pizzas, I find. Wood, coal, it tends to happen. And uh, this pizza, when we got it from Aldi's is right across the street, we ate it basically two minutes out of the oven. Uh, it wasn't crispy to begin with, so it was a little, little disappointing. You want a crispy first bite, and uh, I must say, guys, I'm, I'm already, I made up my mind. This pizza will matters first before the crisp flavor. Romaldi's has plenty of it, guys, so I'm going eight four for Romaldi's eight four. Cali kid, I gotta what's say, what's the deal? What's the deal? Um, yeah, so I mean, like I said, this is the pizza you go out for. Um, this isn't a slice pie. This is the pizza. You go out to a restaurant, you want to go out for pizza. You know, they bring that little little shelf that they put on the table and they put the pizza nice and high. Uh, you eat it hot right there in the in the restaurant. Right, right. Um, and I would, you know, hands down, I would, you know, come out to Grimaldi's again for that. Um, if I'm, you know, I'm kind of bored of Joe and Pat's in Staten Island, you know, I'll drive, what is it, 30, 35 minutes. Yeah, this is a pizza you drive to, man. It's like a pizza you, yeah. you drive over that bridge. So... For me, this is an 8.6 all day. Oh. It's not perfect because, yeah, I want it to be a little bit crispier. I mean, it, it would be in the nines for sure if it was crispier. Hands down. Wow. In the nines. I definitely, definitely, if it was, if this had a little more crisp to it, and if the, if the, if the crust melted in your mouth a little more, I mean, it took a while for that slice to get down, a little chewiness. This is definitely not a 3.5 pizza on Yelp. Trust me. The hell with Yelp. The hell with Yelp. Yeah. Come to this channel, man. There Come to this go. channel. There you go. Guys, that's a review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We got some more stops to make. We're gonna go head over we're gonna go head over these wonderful bridges and uh maybe he wants to try some scars. I don't know. We'll see. Uh maybe we'll do a part two of scars. But until next time, keep those bellies full. Keep Remember, them full. 
Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can watch my videos as soon as they drop. This is Antonio. This is Victor, a.k.a. Cali Kid. The Cali Kid. Signing off. <laughs>